It's been a, um, an absolutely roller coaster of a ride. I've been a, across the Atlantic Ocean um, in the exotic venues of MGM Grand T Mobile Staple Center. Um, and I just feel like the song Thin Lizzy, the boys are back in town. Um, four years away, and I get to come back and showcase on the world's biggest stage at Wembley Stadium with 100,000 people there. Um, I'm just putting it on so the fans can come. The people who travelled to Las Vegas, not everybody was able to come. For the people who stayed up till five in the morning to see those fights on um, on BT Sport, so now they can come and they can enjoy event on home soil um, and be a part of history. And people would be talking about this event, saying, "Where were you when this happened?" In in a few years to come. People will be sitting back and thinking, where were you on that night of 23rd of April 2022 um, when Tyson Fury smashed this fella to pieces in front of the home fans in the UK? Um, and I believe uh, the biggest British heavyweight fight probably since Lewis Bruno, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. There hasn't been a bigger one since. Um, an all-British showdown for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Um, fantastic, fantastic event. And I know Dylan White's going to come in prepared and he's going to come in rugged and rough and game and aggressive. And he's got a big left hook, a big right hand. And who knows, it could be me chinned on night. But I think that both fighters are going for the knockout in this fight. And I just think when I land the Lancaster bomber on his jaw, it's going to be over. That could be in round one. And it could be in round six. I don't see it going past them, Frank. No, but I'm looking to put on an excellent night showcase of knockout boxing for the UK fans and then sing a load of songs afterwards and have a good time. Party on down and the big smoke. You've always already given us a little insight into what the ring music would, would be on the night, which is fantastic, incidentally. Good choice. The boys are back in town. You are back in town. There is no Dillian White here today, Tyson. In recent times, we have watched you on these occasions, if I may say, almost winning the first round on these occasions, getting inside the mind of your opponent. Are you disappointed today that you are not having the chance to try to do that against... I, right. I'm not concerned because this is the Tyson Fury Roadshow and the next stop is London, United Kingdom. Um, it's not, never about the uh, opponent. Like, whether it's his face on there or somebody else's, it's really unimportant. He's ugly anyway, it doesn't really matter. Take him down, we should take him down, Frank. This is about this man over here and celebrating his legacy and his boxing career and celebrating it on the biggest stage that, that you can, the world can get, really. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's Dylan White, it doesn't matter if it's Joe Joyce, Derek Chisora, Anthony Joshua, Usek, it doesn't really matter. Wherever it will stop next, it's always going to be the Tyson Fury Roadshow. And like I said when I was fighting Klitschko, there's only been one man on these shores ever, and he goes by the name of Tyson Fury. I'm the only man on these shores, the only man who can deliver, pull it out every single time when the pressure's on.